Eyewitness News reporter Ross DiMatteo is live outside where the convention is taking place with more on what the vice president is expected to speak about. Good morning, Ross. Good morning to you, Jim. The vice president is expected to talk about a wide range of topics, but with an extra emphasis on reproductive rights, especially in the wake of that controversial decision from the Supreme Court to overturn Roe v. Wade. This is the 113th NAACP convention, and it's the first one that's being held in person since the outbreak of COVID. With less than four months to go now until the midterm election, the vice president is expected to touch on several different key issues, including the economy, climate change, and gun safety. 100 local kids will also be in attendance today, and the local NAACP president believes that the vice president will serve as a great example that the American dream is alive and well. I'm hoping, and I think I speak for all the delegates, uh, that uh, young women of color see in her a person who has risen to the second highest office of the country, and, and that uh, tells them that they can do that. And then after the convention, Vice President Harris is scheduled to meet with some New Jersey lawmakers to discuss reproductive health care, including medical services and contraception following the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. And the convention itself is also expected to shine a spotlight on Atlantic City itself. And it's expected to bring in an economic boost to the local economy to the tune of about $10 million. The vice president is expected to start speaking at around 1130 this morning. We're live in Atlantic City. Ross DiMatteo, CBS3 Eyewitness News. All right, Ross, with the details there, thank you. And stay with Eyewitness News for continuing coverage of the vice president's visit as she addresses the NAACP National Convention in Atlantic City. You can watch her speech later this morning on CBS News Philly.